All right, YouTube. So every time there's an update and a few civilizations are changed, I always try and find the more interesting ones and then find a competitive game where we can see just how that balance change uh, plays out in a real game. Uh, and in this game, we have Barls, who is an amazing player from Poland. We'll talk more about him in a second. Uh, he's playing as the Indians. And then we have Hera, who I'm sure you all know, and he's playing as the Britons. This is Golden Pit. If I were to make a tier list for Golden Pit, Britons is near the very top. One of the best civilizations. Indians, definitely not. And not to mention that as good as Barls is, Hera is definitely seen as the stronger player. So I figured this was pretty cool uh, because... Okay. Normally, Barls would be at quite a disadvantage both in skill and with civilization. So, uh, here's the change. It's nothing huge, but the Indian elephant archers, there's, there's a lot of things we'll talk about with them. They're very slow, they're very expensive, and they, they didn't really fire all that fast. So here you can see the change was made. Uh, the reload time, so now they don't reload quite as uh, long as they did in the past, and now they're a bit cheaper. Um, but they're still really really expensive now i've actually seen them used in a competitive game before and my apologies that i can't find the exact game because it was like four years ago and that's just how rarely i've seen these things used and it was against britons uh, britons are known for their archers and elephant archers are extremely tanky and high hp so they tank a lot of the archer fire um so yeah we're gonna see like full meta Tournament try-hard play here from Hera, and then Barls is going to try and, and use Indian Elephant Archers, and we can talk through if we feel like they're in the right spot right now. If we don't, obviously it's just one game, but I thought this would be cool to bring to you. Now, this is, this, like many maps in the current map pool, it's just a lot of fast castling. Um, and I'm really struggling. Like, Age of Empires is my is my day-to-day -day everything, right? I, I do it for fun. I create content with it. It's both my job and my hobby. Um, I'm really struggling to not complain a little bit about the map pool every single time. I think a lot of people were kind of in the same boat where they were expecting a better map pool after last month. And now, you know, we got excited for it. And then it's like, oh, God. But, um, you know, the truth is the correct way to play Golden Pit, if you, if you want to play solid on it, you just wall and you boom. So, uh it's actually good for me because we this cast is more of a discussion cast, right? I'm obviously going to cast the game, but we're going to talk through positions the players get into. Uh, but I also just kind of want to chill and talk to you guys. Uh, I know that someone's trying to fall asleep to this too, so you guys don't even care. I could be talking about uh, Pumpernickel for all you care, right? Pumpernickel stream when? That's really fun to say, by the way, but I'll stop saying it. So yeah, you get six tiles of gold on your hill uh, and then the rest of the gold is in the middle uh, so normally it's enough gold to boom with but then you're going to need to have a sense of urgency to to take control of the middle area britons is one of the best civilizations because they can have a really nice fast castle time they have a lot of range on those archers and then their tcs are really cheap so you can get to three town centers quite fast with archers with the most range in the game and you could just deny the middle you can range range eco all those types of things. So here's here's the uh, six tiles of gold for Barls. You, know, you already see the wall off for him. Obviously, you could just wall here and then you know, do whatever he wants in Castle Age. And then Hera, I guess this gold isn't that great. But considering Barls is just going to boom anyways, it's not a big deal. And uh, he's beginning his wall off too. So, you know what I just remembered? At 250,000 YouTube subs... I have to cast a game which is longer than the longest game ever I have uploaded on YouTube. Yeah, we found one that was longer, uh, featuring the same player that was in that upload. And I know a lot of people watched that, which was a surprise to me. Like, many people watched that longest game ever video over the course of a few days. Uh, I think it's seven and a half hours, maybe seven hours and 45 minutes. But, yeah, I, um, I think the channel's averaging anywhere from... Six to nine thousand. <laughs> I didn't do that intentionally, but six to nine thousand subscribers a month right now. It's definitely dipped down a little bit recently, but I think before 2021 comes, the channel will hit 250,000. And I said in my Legend of Rusty M video that I would cast the new one, the longer one, assuming that recorded game works. 
So yeah, I think my plan for that, obviously that will hit YouTube, but I think it would just make time sense for me to stream it. Because <laughs> it'd be like a, it'd be a very long stream, right? I, I don't know. I think I'd go crazy if I just casted that game for YouTube only. Sorry, guys. Be a little bit more to talk about if I could interact with some people when I do it, but it's coming. It's definitely coming. Well, Hera, uh, still in Dark Age. So, there is a difference between what they're trying to do. Barrels, uh, he's trying to go for just a boom. So, he's just going to wall and add TCs back here, which means he doesn't need to invest as much wood into uh, buildings. Uh, what Hera's going to do is uh, the normal approach with Britons, where you go fast castle, you build an archer range, you build a blacksmith, and then you get some archers out in the field. Normally, you don't see heavy investment, uh, because if you overinvest into military, then your opponent can out-eco you. And Indians are actually quite dangerous with that, because they're cheap villagers. They can afford to really pump villas out of TCs. But, but yeah, that's what we're going to see from Hera. So he is going to be slightly later to the Castle Age. Yeah, he probably won't take this gold. Actually, wait a second. He's not on gold at all right now. Wait, wait, what the... Well, let's pay attention to what Hera's build order is then. Did he forget to go to gold, or is he going to build a market and sell something? That That's a bit peculiar, uh, I have to say. Also, you know what's really cool? This mining camp. How cool is that? I love to see it, where a mining camp can be used just as efficiently for both golds. Oh, wow, this is really important. Hera's going to lose the scout. Hera's in Dark Age. He still didn't arrive to feudal. He loses that scout. What's the deal here? Did he forget? I mean, obviously he's going to make it work, right? There's the archery range. There's the blacksmith. Uh, hello. I think he forgot about it. Yeah, no, okay. I think he forgot about it. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll see how he adapts to this. But normally you would have had three or four on gold on the way to the feudal age. And this might ruin his build just a little bit. Yeah, that was a bit sloppy. It's not something you see from Hera to forget something like that. But it's just a rated game, right? Trust me when I say, <laughs> if you had gone to gold, the rest of this game is played top, top quality from him. He knows the, the power of Britons, and he's out there to get wins. But already, Barrels on the way to the Castle Age. Okay, so forgetting about Hera's little, little misstep there with his build, because he could be on his way to Castle Age already. Look at the fast castle time with Indians. Vills get cheaper in each age with Indians. So that is a bonus that helps you with booming, but also could help you with producing expensive camel archers. So, you know, that's one aspect of this. Uh, we're not going to see the... Did I say camel archers? I meant elephant archers. Sorry. Um, we're not going to see them yet. So I think if you go... If you send so many filters to stone and build a castle immediately, then you're not going to have a great eco lead. So, I think the wiser approach, especially on this map, as I already said, is just to add eco and boom into something like elephant archers, and then we'll see just how good they do against Britain archers. Now, when I saw them in the past, I think it was Nikov against... Da, 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 da. Again, it was four years ago. It was on HD. It wasn't on Vubli. Obviously, it wasn't on DE. Nikov against some other high-level player. And Nikov made a mix of skirmishers and elephant archers. And he didn't make a lot of the elephant archers because they're so tanky. So I guess you might not even need the elite upgrade because they're still so, so strong. I guess the question with the elephant archer has always been, uh, is, it, is there a situation where it's better to make them over the strong camels? that Indians get. And I, I guess it's certainly not going to make something like an Elfin Archer, which is pretty low attack, which, which you'll see against melee units. Uh, but it would make sense to make it against range, so I think that's the time. And here's Hera. Two ranges. Okay. So two ranges. Still a nice fast castle time, but not as fast as you normally see from him with this. And uh, five archers on the way. And then instantly two TCs. So this is like Britain's bread and butter. They can afford to do this because the TCs are so cheap. However, Barrels is already on three town centers. 
And he built that one town center on the stone. Also playing extremely safe. Boros has his scout, so I think he's noticed those archers out there. And he'll know he needs to get some walls up. Yep, that's exactly what he's going to do. Exciting, right? It's just an amazing map. Oh my god, so dynamic. Woohoo, I love it. <laughs> um, you know, some of you out there are like, T90, I don't really like the early aggression. This is pretty cool, actually. <laughs> it's good for me when I'm casting, let's put it that way. Like the, the player's mentality is in me, so I do have to express my opinions at times. So there was a tournament, uh, or there is a tournament called Visible Cup. And it is with all of the Hidden Cup 3 settings, but it, it is including players who did not make it into the top 16 to participate in Hidden Cup 3. Uh, kind of a funny name, right? Because their identities aren't hidden, so they call it Visible Cup. And Barrels is has actually made it to the finals, and he'll be up against Vinchester. So um, I, I'd love to see the form of this player, because he returned to the game this year, and he's played incredible. If you remember all the way back to Hidden Cup 3 qualifiers, which seems a while ago now, but it was two and a half months ago, he beat Slam 3-1 to one in a best of five. I think Slam has more of a reputation uh, on Team Secret with Viper, Doubt, Tato. So uh, anyways, it just gives you an idea of where he's at, and it's, it's pretty exciting stuff, right? Now, he's not new. Uh, he played back in the Boobly days, but he did return and has been quite active. I think I favor Vinchester. I might actually be casting the whole best of seven finals. I feel like Vinchester will win that. I don't know. I think that'll go to six or seven games. I think it'll be very close. Vinch is another one who is always around and played very good in the qualifiers. So 40 or 50 villagers now for Barls. All right, so he's booming away. Hera's is just knocking on the door, booming away. It stops producing archers. Nothing too exciting right now. Now, there's not much Hera can do, except do what he's doing and, and keep an eye on the middle. Uh, the middle does become more and more important as this game goes on. Now, I think with any other civilization you're up against Britons, you either have to make your own archers and then you're gonna be outmassed because Britain archer ranges work faster. And then you're gonna be outranged because Britain archers have more range. Or you're going to make a counter unit like Skirmishers. Um, skirmishers are... Well, they're great, but still, the crossbows are going to outrange them, so it's not ideal. And I feel like having to make the two ranges, and then the cost uh, with wood and with, and food, it's just, it's just a lot. So, you know, you do have the other option. And the other option is the Indian Elephant Archer. This is not a great matchup for Indians. But if you incorporate these newly buffed Indian Elephant Archers, does it give Barrels a chance? Remember, they're expensive. I'll pull up the exact cost once the castle's up, because I want you to, to see how close Hera gets to getting through here. About a five... Call it... We'll call it ten vil lead, because the Ecotechs are in for Barrels before they are for Hera. Like, Hera's just now getting wheel. Like, that tech's idling the TC. I think it's going to be around ten vil lead. Something around there. By the way, this is very pleasing to the eye. Except it bothers me that Hera built that one tile gap. As long as he builds the next row of houses the same. Wait! Oh! Oh, I'm blind! There's actually a one tile gap between all the houses. That's so pretty! I didn't realize that pro players had the opportunity to play SimCity, but... You know, it's Golden Pit. Alright, so the castle's up. And I'm actually, I, I am going to look at the cost right now. I think it pauses the game for us because it's a recorded game. Let's see. So, um, ba -ba 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 -ba, bam. Okay. Instead of 80 gold, it's now 70 gold. That was big change and the reload time. Uh, they have 280 HP, a pretty high pierce armor, but it's 100 food and 70 gold to make them. Elite's pretty expensive too. Considering, like, look look at how expensive the Elite is there at the bottom left of this box. Considering the cost, that's ridiculous. So, uh, you just haven't seen the unit a lot. And I know there's a lot of people out there watching from India. And, and there's been a lot of people in the Age of Empires forums that really want to see this unit used more. Look how pretty it is! Alright, there he is. So, you have three Pierce Armor. And that's default before any upgrades. 
And Bod Canero is already in for Barls, so he doesn't want to just defend with this. He actually wants to push back with these things. He deletes part of his wall. Hera comes in here, and Hera's like, okay. I'm Britons. I have crossbows. Full boom. I'm great. Okay, now he sees an Elfin Archer, and check this out. Look at that. Because they're so high HP, I mean, the lack of range really sucks here. But because their HP is so high, kind of a complicated situation. And now Hera he actually spotted that there was a house foundation here. So that was a slick move from Barls. Ran the whole way around to wall them in. And now it's four Indian elephant archers against nine crossbows. And I highly doubt Hera will even kill one. Though he's going to try. You know, he's going to try. And he should stay here as long as possible so he can maintain some map control. So what do you do against this if you're Britons? It's pretty sick. Now, I'm still not convinced that the change is going to make that much of a difference. I think that since the unit was buffed, uh, Barl's decided to go for it. I think he could have done the same thing uh, if they were 80 gold. But it's still, it's quite nice. The concern for him is that it's so expensive to make these. What is it? 100 food to pop, so it's 700 food to make these. He's not going to be on his way to the Imperial Age. And Hera, uh, he did not need to spend that food on elephants. So he's building a castle in front of his stone. This is one of many castles he will want to build towards the middle. And he's also going to get even more range from upgrades and from the Britain bonus. Now, when I saw this, I was thinking, hmm, do you go Halberdier? Uh, I mean, these things are pretty slow, so you can maybe get some pointy boys in there. Or do you maybe go monks? Ahara has Britons, so they have Halb. But they also, they, they don't have the best monks. But I don't know if you need them any monk upgrades, right? You just need to have them. As long as they get block printing, which gives monks uh, plus three range, they'll have 12 range against the, the six range of the elephant archers. So I think what's cool about this particular upload... Uh, because I've highlighted different units and civilizations before, but sometimes if it's kind of a meme civilization still, I have to find an imbalance between the players, or the players are not playing it all that seriously, you know? And that, that makes it fun, but if we're talking competitive potential and balance, you kind of want to have two people tryharding a bit. And that's exactly what this is. Uh, you see Britons time and time again on this map. You do not see Britons against Indians on this map. This is the first for me. I think the Britons against Indians mat, uh, matchup I saw four or five years ago was on a map called... Um, shoot. There's Hunt in the middle. Oh, I forget it. I forget it. I'm sorry. So, I know it's going to bother someone, so I'm going to say it slightly bothers me too that that one elephant archer isn't being healed. Like just, just a little bit. Ahara has to back up. And you notice he's getting block printing, so he has two monks. He'll have 12 range, so he can just convert these. So maybe the logic from Barls is to make the monks counter and, and try and get some Hussar out. It's still so costly to make the elephant archers and get upgrades there. And then to have the food to spam out Hussars and Light Cav would be pretty difficult, too. Now, he doesn't seem too comfortable going to the middle right now. Might not be a bad idea to get a TC up there. Just take as much gold as possible. But he's going to build a castle on this side, just in case Hera goes in to secure it. And there he is now, and these poor elephants. They look so sad as they run away. Like, we can't do anything. They look pretty, though. Pretty and thick. Damn. Alright. Hera has 10 range against 6 range. Yeah, Maganel won't do anything. And down that goes... And the monks so far have been the correct play. So there's got to be a transition now for Barls. So we've determined that th there's moments where the elephant archers work and make sense. However, I think they, they still might be a little bit too costly <laughs> to, to use on their own. Uh, however, that was good micro there from Barls. I think he pulled back. It was either a mistake from Hera or he pulled back the elephant that was being converted. And then sniped the monk. So he only lost one to a conversion. And now he loses one. But look at the KD! These things just don't die. Alright, Light Cav is completed. He's getting the armor upgrade. It's really tough for the Light Cav to engage when the Arbalests are there. And Hera's taking a lot of gold right now. 
The monks will try their best to convert more elephants to get two... Was that three? I can't... No, that was two conversions. I think maybe Hera's reached the point where he has enough arbs, too. He's, he's dishing out 10 damage. And though it's 300 HP, uh, it is only five pierce armor. So, yeah, the, the more arbs that come out, and, and as the range continues to grow, because there's still potential for one more range if Hera gets Yeoman, yeah, it's going to be tough for these things. Well, again, I think it's the cost, because you can't just go for this unit, even against archers. Now, maybe maybe you're up against the Ethiopian archers, it's different, or some other archers. Hit. Britain's is top tier. And, and Hera's playing this really well, too, but here come the light cap. Okay, so you notice that? The light cap is still working on getting armor upgrades, so they sniped one monk. Population's 150 for both. Eco's looking close. Barls has the score lead, which is interesting. Hera is now getting Yeoman, so he will have 11 range, and actually his castle here was temporarily denied, but I think the elephants are so slow they can't get over there. I guess you could argue this is a map where you don't need a lot of mobility, so maybe maybe Indians are not only suited against archer sieves, but maybe Indians are suited against uh, archer sieves on Golden Pit, because of how slow and tanky these things are, and you need to take the middle. It's so tough, though. Like, Hera can range any gold miners that come over here. At this point, Barl's... He's about to run out of gold. So, like, Hera, he's not going to care if he loses gold units as long as he's mining gold. And he, he's even going to build a castle here, too. And Hera's in a great position. I love the monk edition. Now, having not seen this in a long time, I might have been tempted to go for some halberdiers in Hera's position. Like, halberdiers and rams, maybe. Even with Britons. But he just stuck true to the range. I think he realized it, it's tough to get in close to those puppies. Here comes Barl. So he actually is looping around with some traps. He needs to, to somehow take Hera out of the middle. He has limited gold supply. Um, I really wish I had my overlay working so I could get all the other details for you guys. But I don't have that right now. now Hera will snipe these vills as Barl's was maybe going to the middle or towards the middle. And uh, we have... Okay, a Treb attacking a range there, and now Barls is looping the whole way around to the Eco. He seems really hesitant to take engagements with just his elephants, doesn't he? Hey, honestly, should be hesitant too. So these two Trebs, I guess he's going to try and take out these castles. Ahera has to back away with the monks. He has six of them on our screen. And there's 13 elephant archers, so he gets one conversion. Okay. They're not Hussars yet, so I can't make the Sabaton joke, but... The non-winged light cab are about to arrive. How many monks will get conversions here? A lot of holy men are going to go down. I, I still think it's enough for Hera. 65 military. You know what else is really cool about, about uh, converting elephant archers is that they tank damage for you. It's not just taking that unit away from the enemy, but they'll tank damage for you against the elephant archers. Because elephant archers have so little attack. You know, same thing applies. The only thing Hera really lost there was opportunity to push forward a little bit. Okay, now he's lost a Treb. Uh, and he also lost two ranges, but... Like, does he look like a guy who's worried? Barls has officially reached the point where he is completely out of gold. He spent all of his gold on the now cheaper elephant archers <laughs> and a few trebuchets. Uh, Hera sees the Hussars running in, and this is a way on Golden Pit. Sometimes you can distract someone by hitting the sides of their eco, but Hera's already... He's prepared for this. He has a castle in the back of his eco. He has a castle in the middle, playing extremely defensive and just, just camping. Just camping the golds, as he should do. 76 military against 33. So, you guys might be able to see the direction this game is, is heading. I think... I, do you guys think it's the food cost? I, I would still like to see elephant archers on a map other than Golden Pit. I did see a game where MBL went elephant archers against Dao. It was Indians against Turks. It's like battle of the underused civilizations. <laughs> um, however, you know, I, I think the food cost is probably a little bit too high because it's really, it, it takes a long time to get to the number that you would need. Now, these aren't elite. And still, Hera is able to get to the arb number that he needs 
to one shot these bad boys. Actually, I think it's two shot. And this is a confident player now, just attacking the castle with his Arbalest. Now the raids are going to come in. And normally this is quite a good move, because Para doesn't have mobility. You can take out monks, you can take out villagers off gold. But if you don't have gold well, life's still going to be very difficult for you. The Hera will just add more villagers with the food count he has, and add more Arbalest, add more monks. He has the gold for it. How many relics do they have? Okay, Hera has one. I think that's one thing I could... I could have been um, more critical on. Because Barls could have got this relic, this relic, uh, this relic. He could have three. Maybe something that he thought of sooner, he would have been in a better spot. His Hera now castles this flank and castles this flank. This is why Britons are good. This is why Britons are good. I think Indians would be worse against other civilizations. Um, so while Britons are one of the best... It, Indians certainly have a chance here. And now we have Barls going for uh, some skirmishers too. What, what's Hera getting? Warwolf. Oh, that could be interesting. He just got that Warwolf tech. You can learn a lot from this, guys. How Hera has placed his castles. Placing castles on the flanks to keep you protected when you have a slow civilization. Like, he has castles, like, everywhere. It's really tough for Indians too because they don't get siege rams, so it's kind of hard to push... Hera also has all the HP upgrades for the castles. He, like, as I said, it... He, he took this one very, very seriously. Hera has his own elephant archers! Britain elephant archers! What is this? He's microing them back as well. Also, Barls did miss the chemistry upgrade, which hurts to see. And Barls is trying his best to snipe gold units, or trebs. It hasn't happened yet, and he loses this castle, and Hera is just extending that lead further. Oh, and he converted more! These poor elephants are probably so confused. They didn't want to be out here in the first place. They're probably terrified, and then they have to switch sides. They don't understand. This is, this is silly, watching elephant archers attack elephant archers. The other one that's funny is if you watch Vietnamese rats and archers attack Vietnamese rats and archers. Because um, an elite rat ten archer has ten pierce armor, and I believe an elite rat ten archer does ten damage. So if it's rat ten archer v rat ten archer, they do one damage a hit. It's really funny. Well, if you get a free moment, just patrol forty elite rat tens into forty elite rat tens, and then just go for a walk for twenty minutes. And when you come back, the fight will almost be done. <laughs> it takes forever. Oh man, uh, this is a, a bit of a miss micro for Hera, but I, I don't know if it matters too much because the amount of gold he has. He's slowly taking out the buildings. Barls is probably losing hope at this point. Score, as most of you know, it, it's a really good indicator of who's winning in a game. So, uh, Score might switch a little bit because Hera just tossed away his arms. He's got to be careful. Don't be too overconfident here. He's actually making a tech switch, though, to the Trash Killers. They're making skirms, they're making halves. There's a certain unit which counters that, it's champions. You don't see that too frequently at a high level until someone is completely out of gold. I see Hera getting all those techs now. Probably will need just a few more farmers because he hasn't been making food units for a while, so he'll, chew, he'll uh, use that pretty quickly. Yeah. Sad for the elephants. Actually, if someone can do the math for me in the comments, you have... Six tiles of gold at the start on Golden Pit. You get 800 gold a tile. So that is... Six times eight is... Oh, I'm going to embarrass myself here. That's 48... Wait. 4,800, right? 4,800 gold at... You know what? I'm going to use a calculator. <laughs> One second. The next bit's a little bit more difficult. I might have even had that wrong. Okay. 4,800 divided by 70, because that's the gold cost. So you can make, wow, are you kidding me? 68.57 Indian elephant archers. Are you, what are the odds? Like, I don't even try and force memes, and we get the 69. Okay, according to my math, which may be off base, you could afford to make just under 69 elephant archers with the amount of gold that you start with. That's, of course, for getting upgrades, 
and forgetting other things you might need to go for. Um, so realistically, you're not going to get that many, but... And you can get a little bit more gold from selling wood and selling food, too. Hera actually has less population. Like, this tech switch is, is going to do a lot for him. But, um... He really... Thank God for him that he has the middle. Because he's not winning this game, or he's not finishing off his opponent, that's for sure. It's just skirmishers without chemistry. And Hussars, that's it. I like this from Barls. Now, if he is able to hit the other side at the same time, maybe there's a chance. The struggle is he doesn't have gold. And maybe, is it not worth it to take a risk to send out like 10 vills to get gold? I guess Harris sat an arb there just in case. I feel like you've got to be a little bit more desperate for the middle. I, maybe he could have pushed the middle a bit more. Maybe he could have transitioned skirmishers in with his elephant archers. That's what I had mentioned I saw before. I unfortunately don't remember who won, but I remember everyone freaking out years ago. Like, what? Yeah, I think it was Nikov. Like, what? These elephant archers are actually... They're doing something? What? How many relics does Barls have now? He has two. Okay, so I guess he didn't see... Okay, he sees this one, but that's that's behind a castle. And then the other one in the north he does not see. Yeah, now now champions are out. That's why Hera kind of fell off a little bit. And uh, he's going to go for the kill now. Champions almost have full upgrades. He has a lot in the queue. Skirms are doing six damage. And champions have five pierce armor. Yeah, good luck. Plus the arbs are behind. Now rams are coming in. Britons don't get siege ram, but they do get awesome trebuchets you can add in behind. And unfortunately for Barls, and I really, like, if I was streaming, I would say salute him for trying this. I, I'm the type of guy now who, I understand why you want to win when you play a game. But I really admire players who will switch it up every now and then, and do some different strategies in a rated game, in between tournaments. And to, to get that buff, and then see players test it out, was really cool here. My opinion is... Ultimately, it depends. I think you're going to need to have more resources available if you want to make the Indian Elephant Archers. You're going to need a map where you can slow the game down, so probably a map like this where you don't have the resources to make a lot of them. And maybe... Maybe after that first engagement, what Barls could have done is he could have... Instead of um, running forward as much as he did, maybe he could have tech switched into Skirms. It's a lot of food. But uh, if he were to do this again, I think he'd be... He'd try and get something else other than Hussar in there to snipe the monks. Maybe get Skirms. Then maybe Hera starts to make some champions. Um, then you do have some Indian Elephant Archers in there that might help against that. Maybe you add Hand Cannons. I don't know. It's a weird, weird little game you have to play. But I think that... Uh, and then going to the middle a bit earlier. Because I, I don't think there was a, a... There wasn't huge sense of urgency from him. He actually made it back here with an elephant archer. <laughs> which is pretty funny. It's a raid, boys! Come back, let's go! Look how pathetic his weapon is up there. No wonder they don't do that much. Jeez, change the weapon. Change the bow. Give him, uh, give him a crossbow or something. Jeez. Looks like a feudal age archer up there. 82 military for Hera. Has the gold and has the Q and borrows... Uh, spoilers, but at some point he's going to resign in this. He's still going to try. Okay, nice little side attack after ramming down that castle. He loses that treb, which was an expensive loss. I think all that will happen is uh, Hera will send champions here. Even losing the town center isn't a huge concern for him as Barls will lose this castle. Barls will lose his buildings. And Hera has the queue. 60 arbs here. Man, it's impressive how Hera's been able to get so much military on the field. But it's also a player of his caliber almost expected, too, that with the gold he should be able to. So as as we close here with this game, um, I, I'm actually curious on what my community thinks about the Indian Elephant Archer. Do you think it needs to be buffed? Or do you think it is a highly situational unit? I... Okay, so it is a highly situational unit. Like, I, I would say it's definitely situational. However, that doesn't mean it needs to be. 
Possibly if you adjust the cost a little bit, it could be good. Because even if you make it 50 gold instead of 70, I don't think it's ever going to get to the point where that unit's like OP because of the low cost. It still takes forever to create them. They're still really slow. So I guess if I were on the dev team and if I had a decision to make a change, in the next patch, I would change them even further. And I would keep everything else the same and I would just make it so that it's about 50 gold. Maybe that's too cheap, but with 100 food costs associated with them, plus the fact that you're probably going to need other units too, I'd like it. I guess you do have to be careful too, because maybe maybe like high level players can convert them easily with the monks, but maybe people at your level or lower levels might not be able to do that, and then suddenly in the mid level it's like Indians are OP because of these elfin archers, but not saying I don't like the change. I'm not saying it's not a good unit, it's just very situational and maybe we need to see a little bit more. So, I do have a game where MBL and Doubt played. It was Turks and Janissaries <laughs> against Indians and Elephant Archers. Uh, it definitely wasn't quite as serious as this. And again, I felt like this game, I needed to give you a serious example of how civs play out. But if you want to see it, now... It all depends if there's a hotfix that comes in. Unfortunately, my recorded games will break if they push out a hotfix soon. But um, I could maybe try and get it to YouTube next week. Something along those lines, if you guys are interested. So let me know. Um, man, I asked a lot of questions, so I'll have to read through some comments here. But look look at the food count. Barrels had 50,000 food collected. It didn't have the gold. Now, you must have sold a little bit to get that gold number. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. Calculator time? Calculator time? Okay. He had to have used the market once or twice to sell. Okay, 7763 minus 748. Okay, that's 7,000. So if he sold just like 200 food or 200 wood, uh, it, it does show in your total gold count. So I think my calculations were correct. <laughs> Don't ask me what happened with the stone difference. It's kind of funny. Anyways, GG. Awesome game. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll look in the comments and see what you have to think. And uh, buff Indian elephant archers.